health security uh, takes a f several different forms in the arguments that are made about, about it. Um, one argument is that um, we face emerging and re-emerging pandemic threats that are out in the environment. Uh, they come and they go. Uh, they can have destabilizing consequences. We now have this movie, Contagion, that has just come out that's really about this. And that movie is very interesting because it makes the point that there's a science, there's a methodology of outbreak response and control, there are practices of social distancing, and that these are hugely destabilizing and they happen in a heartbeat. So that's one area that obviously people understand and grasp quite rapidly about the intersection of security um, and health. And you can add in into that not just natural disasters, not just emerging pandemic threats, but you can add in also the sort of biodefense dimension of this. So that's, that's, that's been a part of it. Another is that is the notion that um, uh, pa epidemics, pandemics like uh, HIV AIDS, uh, which we have not seen uh, uh, a, a, an epidemic of this scale um, uh, come forward. There's no uh, vaccine and none in sight. Uh, it, it emerges, there's an explosion of new infections. Uh, it's, it's concealed for an eight or ten year period and then, and then there's a sudden explosion of, of, of folks that are symptomatic with AIDS and that are dying. You have a third dimension, which is the human security. And that's a more general notion that in, in communities around the world, in low-income countries, uh, f communities that are struggling with poverty, that um, are struggling with a burden of disease that is very specific to poor populations, um, neglected tropical diseases, diseases of poverty, poor sanitation, um, that the family and the community can only function with uh, uh, true uh, productivity and with true hope if it is, has some baseline security. And what they mean by that is protection against these rav ravaging um, uh, disease uh, phenomena.